Hello. Hi. So, so let's discuss uh, the agenda for today, and uh, we are going to start with the keyword. There is a keyword in Java that is super. We have discussed about inheritance, right? Have we discussed about inheritance? Yeah. Okay. So we will discuss about the super keyword. Then we will discuss there is another keyword that is a uh, final. We will discuss about that. And uh, uh, we are going to discuss about abstraction. And uh, after that, we will discuss about. Uh, First of all, we are going to discuss about the super keyword. Okay. So, super keyword, it is a reference variable which will be used to refer the immediate parent class object. Okay. So, we discuss about inheritance and then we discuss about parent classes and child classes. We discuss about base class and the subclass. So if you are using the keyword super, you can it will be used as a reference variable which will refer to the immediate immediate parent class object. So if I say if I have to refer the object the uh, the method of the immediate parent class, I can say super dot the method name. Or I can say super dot the variable name. Okay. For an instance, if I have if I have a class saying as animal, I have class animal. Okay. And then it has a variable in color equals to Let's say black. Now I am going to inherit this class using some um, using uh, let's say class cat, which is extending the animal class. Okay. Now it has again one more variable and which is the variable name is color. Okay. So you can see that we have we have the same variable in the parent class as well, and the same variable we are using here in the in the derived class, but their value is different from that of the parent class. In this case, I have a method here, print color. This method will help me to print the color of my cat. Okay. But my cat is not red, my cat is black. Okay, So it means I want to refer this black, which is already defined here. In order to refer this black, I can use the super keyword. So super keyword will help you to reference the objects. Object means uh, the variables or the methods of your immediate super class, immediate parent class. So super keyword will here help me to refer the this color, which is which is the data member of the parent class. Okay. So I can say I have a method here. I can say system dot out dot print line. My cat is uh, it's going to be super dot no. Okay. 
let's super dot color will give you black why because that's referring the variable color of the parent class then we have system dot out dot print line the default variable color is color looks fine but here we will need to now we can use the main so public static void main string and then we have cat object c equals to new cat then c dot print color let's see how this works so i'm not sure if we have already have the animal class yes yes we have it here i'm just going to Okay, I think this is method overloading or something. Okay, whatever it is, let's just modify this one. We go to the end of the page and I'll just fix it and then I'll explain it to you once again. Okay, looks fine now. There is something wrong, I think. Let me just check why it is not working. So, I'm saying this main class. do something else now so the concept you got the concept of the super keyword Satvik you can hear me I can hear you yes you got it the concept of the super, super keyword yeah okay great
प्लीज बे विथ मी सात्विक अंधी स्तुति बिकॉज अदरवाइज आई हैव टू टेक द रिमोट ऑफ योर सिस्टम इफ इट डजेंट वर्क Please just give me a moment. Please just close it now. so this is the example that i am referring right now this is to reference the variable of the immediate parent after this example we will see how to refer the immediate immediate method of the parent class and then after we will discuss about the final keyword Okay, let's see if it's good now. Is it in four hour training or something? So it's in test one. Then it is. It is in default package. test one default package test one as i see Just give me a moment, Sathvik. I'm so sorry about it.
Okay, may I take the uh, access of your system, Sathvik? Can you please do that to me today? Let me make you the presenter. And now create a class. I'm just pasting the code in the chat. So please paste the code, create a new class and paste the code. Done that. Okay, super dot color will be in brackets super dot color will be in brackets and before that before starting the bracket there will be a plus sign yeah again before color in the next line there will be a plus sign remove one of the curly brackets beneath yeah this one this one okay go at the top please just call it at the top okay I think it's the top right so I mean did you just try pasting it just copy and paste it because uh, things are missing here few of the things like the variables are missing the variables the string color is missing just paste it there ok and fix this uh, super there is something missing the plus and then put the small brackets here ok you you need to also close it the bracket you need to also close it you need to close the bracket for super dot color it's not closed that is for the system dot yeah ok scroll it down please yeah. uh, it's looking good now Please run it. Okay, close the other classes. Close the other classes on. The other ones, yeah. 
and then try to run it. Again, facing the same problem. Okay, can you please try one thing? Press the keys, press the keys, Alt, Shift, and X. Alt Shift X on your keyboard press Alt Shift and X in one go I did. nothing happened is no. it going to do yes okay. so just click on the drop down where you are running, click on the drop down, run as, run as, okay, run configurations, run configuration, okay, so, uh, see, the project is, uh, is it socket, the project is socket, so click on the project, and then also the main class, the main class should be something else, right? So try to find out your class here. Do you see your class here in the list of classes? Type the name of your class at the top. Here in the type filter text. Type filter text. click yes okay uh, okay can you please go back to your class once again and press the keys control this control s Okay, now run it. Okay, now go to the run configuration. Run configuration. Okay, where it says uh, main class, type the path. SRC, SRC, uh, can you please uh, move the window, this pop-up window, the configurations a little down, next to the taskbar, yeah, let's call it down, move it down, the window in which you are typing right now, I just want to see the path, yeah, so it is a, uh, Okay, your project is socket one. So, so uh, say socket one, and then go to the main class, src forward slash animal dot java. Let's see. Apply. Say apply. Now click run. Let's see. Uh, 
Sir, what is this problem? Could not find load name card. Okay, there is something wrong with the configuration. Please go to the configuration once again. Okay, where it says browse next to the project. Please browse it. Browse, double click, socket one. Okay, now search for it. The animal.java. Is it there? not even there right so that's the problem I think okay there are uh, it says select type at the top can you please type animal dot Java animal okay okay Cancel it. Please click cancel. Close this uh, window. Okay, go to, go to this folder where in the C drive, socket 1. Go to the C drive on your system. So you must have a workspace, right? Uh, yeah. Go to the workspace. Go to that path. Yeah. It's in this uh, C drive, right? Go to the C drive. I think it was in users. Can you please go back and go to the users? Yeah, GSR2. Double click. Then there is some workspace or something like that. Workspace at the bottom. It's, I saw that. 2017 yeah. okay in the metadata okay go back okay um, okay go back I see nothing there in the other workspace in the other folder Target one, yeah. Okay. So right click on that. Right click. Can you please open this? First open this and check. Okay, it's there. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment, please. One moment. Okay, go to Eclipse now. Go to File and click Open File. It is there. The thing is, it, it is not refreshed. At the moment, it is not refreshed. Can you please, uh, before we try it, can you please just close your Eclipse and open it, reopen it? Because it's already there, right? Okay, now I reopen it because when we were trying to run that, we tried to browse it and it was not there. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, this is, is this the right uh, workspace? Yeah, I think so. Click OK. So you have to make sure that you are selecting the right workspace if 
okay now try to run it okay so click on configuration build configuration once again okay try to search that try to browse the socket one socket one yeah double click yeah no no uh, you needed to explore that ah oh, that's something uh, i'll have to find a way okay can you please remove everything from the main class where it says main class Okay, Sathya, you will have to wait. I think today is the today is not my lucky day. It's taking time. Just give me a moment. It it almost took. My, you know, more time than I expected. Sir, please do not mind the silence. I'm just looking into it.
yeah in the meantime if you want you can uh, you know try creating some other class and you can check Okay, so I think what we need to do today, well, let's discuss the uh, uh, other concepts apart from this and then we will practice it maybe tomorrow. Okay, will that be fine? Satvik? Yeah. Are you with me? Okay, great. Can you please um, make me the presenter? I'm so sorry about today because I just wanted it to work somehow. Uh, it's, it's not working. It's saying I'm not going to work today. But I don't want to waste. Stop allowing me to make you presenter. Okay, click on my name. Click on my name. I, I can't. I can't even open up like the attendees list. Okay, if you close this, uh, maybe download this. Okay. Yeah. Any ask? Any ask? Pramod, are you there? Okay. So we are here. And uh, so we just discuss about the uh, which keyword, super keyword, and uh, I I was able to show you one of the examples where we were trying to refer the data member of the immediate parent class, right? But somehow the uh, practically it did not work. So we will see tomorrow, or maybe you can practice it later 
you just need to copy and paste the program that I'm giving to you today. Okay. So same goes with if you want to refer the um, if you have something like uh, a function, a method in the parent class, like let's say I have a parent class void eat. And I say system dot out dot print ln and I say dot out dot print ln most of the animals are non vegetarian. So I uh, and I have I have uh, I have a method as eat only in my derived class. I have the same method here. Void eat. Okay. System dot out dot print line. Print line. This is the heat method of the derived plan. Hello? Hello? But what we want is, we don't want to refer this eat method that we have in the derived class. We want uh, to refer um, the, yeah. Uh, I couldn't hear anything. I'm saying we have a method here in the parent class, eat, right? And we have the same method yeah. here in the extended class. It has the same name, eat method, but it has a different definition. It is printing some other message, and that one is print, printing some other message. Most of the animals are non-vegetarian. It's printing in the parent class. And this is the eat method of the derived class. This is in my extended class. So when I am accessing this, I want this method to work. I want this method to be accessed, not this one. Right? You getting my point? What I want? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll create one more method here. I'll say void method work. Okay. And I will say here super dot super dot eat. And then I will say eat. So eat is my method of this derived class, and super dot eat is the method of the extended class. Now I have created an object already here, C. Now with C I will access C dot method work. method work. Understandable? Understandable? Surface. So it will yeah. so print color will the method work method work will 
method work means accessing this method of my extended class it will access the super 8 and then the 8 method so super 8 will say animals are sorry most of the animals are non vegetarian and the eat will say this is the eat method of derived class so this will how the super key keyword will work this will help you to access it so i'm again pasting this code So after this session, I will suggest you to try something uh, with your Eclipse. Like you can Google, and there are many solutions available. Or I can fix it tomorrow when we meet. But I'm just testing it here, so keep it in a notepad. Subject. So super keyword. Is it clear now? The super keyword. Yeah. Okay, so super keyword will basically help you to access the reference data members or the methods of your immediate parent class. Okay. Now we will discuss about another keyword that is final. The keyword is final. final keyword okay. so final keyword is used to restrict the user basically for an example if I say final int x equals to 50 if I say final int x equals to 50 the value of x will never be changed it will always be 50 The final keyword can be used in three contexts. One, it can be used for a variable. The other, it can be used for a method. If you want a method to be fixed, if you want a method to be final, you can use this keyword with a method. You can use this method with a variable, uh, this keyword with a variable or with a class. Okay. Now we will see how this example works. So if you have a class, let's say you have a class A and it has a variable, as I said, final int x equals to 100. Okay. Then you have a method void calculate void calculate and then you here say x equals to 200 you say x equals to 200 now if you try to run this program from the main you need to write it public static void main string then you have a object equals to new object sorry new a new obj dot calculate if i try to access this what will be the output can you suggest me what will be the output Surface? 
the output will be 100? No. The output won't be 100. The program will not learn. It will not run. Why? Because we have first said final. The variable x is final and then we are trying to reinitialize it. Right? If it is final, it cannot be reinitialized. It cannot be assigned any other value. So it will give you a compile time error. Okay. So the point is if something is final, you cannot reassign it, re uh, assign some other value to that variable. Same thing happens with the methods. In case of method, if a method is for an for an example, if a method is Okay, I want you to try all this, so I'm just, I will keep on testing this here. You can just keep it in a notepad. Okay. So, let's say we have a final method here. Final void calculate. So, final void calculate. Uh, I think we did about the overriding what is method overriding right in the inheritance yeah. okay. we have another class we have another class p which is extending class a the extending class a so as per the rule this class should be able to use the this class, the class B, the derived class should be able to override the class A's method. Okay. I will try to override the method calculate. So I will say void calculate as per the inheritance overriding feature. And I will try to just print a message here. Again, this will not work. Again, this will not work because you cannot override it. Since it is final, if it's a final method, you cannot override it. And this is also the use of it. This is also the use of it. If you don't want some value of a variable to be changed anywhere in the program, you don't want some value of a variable to be changed or the method to be overridden when you are using the inheritance feature of uh, java object oriented programming language you you don't you do not want it to be overridden or when value to be changed you can make it final you can say it's a final data member it's a final method and it will not be used it will not be allowed to use later on Then again, there is, you can take the, uh, you can also make a class uh, final, okay. If a class is final, you cannot extend it. Like here, I have said, let me just paste it for you. Again, if a class is final, if I say final class, Final class is then I will not be able to extend it. Here I am extending it. If the here the parent is final. So we cannot extend it. If the parent is final, we cannot extend it. Clear? So this was about the final keyword.
now okay the last topic for today we will discuss about the abstract class basically the abstraction we are going to discuss about so again i will remind you that object oriented programming has few features we have discussed inheritance we have discussed polymorphism we are discussing action now we are discussing abstraction so actions means hiding the data okay you will be using the keyword abstract keyword abstract is used okay so you will declare a class abstract class abstract class subtraction is so what is abstraction subtraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user so user will not be able to see the details of the class but he can only perform some functions for an example if you use a calculator a physical calculator so you you don't know what is happening inside the calculator when you are entering when you are tapping the keys for two numbers and trying to add them you just see the result you never know what is happening inside the calculator so that is called hiding the features hiding the data abstraction is hiding the data but if somebody asks you what is abstraction you can say it's a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only the functionality to the user okay another way is it will only show the important features to the user when you try to turn on your television set your tv when you try to turn it on you don't need to you know pull any diode or register of your television you just need to hit the power key on your remote system once you hit the power key tap the power key the tv gets turned on you don't you, you don't know what is happening inside the remote or the t television set so only the important functionality is shown to the user in case of abstraction so for the abstract uh class so if you're using that class in a different class you will only see the important functions in the class you're using it in yes we will we will discuss that how that works so for an example so you can declare a class as abstract or a method as abstract okay if a class is abstract so let's say abstract class a okay and it has a method abstract method sorry abstract void uh let's say anything xyz it is a method abstract method and then we have abstract class but you can see we are not doing anything here in the abstract class or in the abstract method now what i'll do is i will override it class b extends a right then i will override this method okay so i will say void x y z so when you say abstract we don't need to implement it we don't need to define it here we have not defined it here that what is going to happen in this method i will override it later i will override this method later and then i'll do whatever i want to do like i can just print some message this is this is the method 
This is the abstract method. Okay, so in this case, it will just print this message. It has nothing to do with the parent class. We have just, because this is abstract, this is hidden, hidden to the world. Only this part is shown to the world. Where we are, we are doing some function with that, that method. So basically, abstract method, abstract keyword will help you to define, implement the method or the class later on. You don't need to define it in the first go, but you can define it later. Okay. And here you can see the method does not have any implementation in the when it uh, when it was defined. It has not any implementation. And that is why it is called abstract method. A method that has not any implementation where it is defined and when it is overridden by the derived class and then it is defined further. So that is the example of abstract method. So it will not have any body. If that is abstract method, it will not have any body. What is the body when I say body? So there is, if you see these curly brackets, this is defining whatever you write, you know, between these two curly brackets for a method, that is the method body. But there is no method body. We have just defined the method here. Later on, we are overriding it. And then we are just uh, doing some, whatever we want to do, we are printing some message here. Okay. Then you can just write the mail here. Write the menu and then create an object. Create an object. Refer the extended method to access it. I'm just writing the instructions only so that you will be able to practice it later. I'm just pasting it. Any question on this? No. I want you to practice. I want you to practice all these examples, whatever I pasted. Then we will discuss it tomorrow. Okay. This is it for today, Satvik. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.